Hi guys, today I'm here to talk to you about a game called Axie Infinity. Uh, if you're a fan of like Pokemon and Tamagotchi, those sort of collectibles as well, you're gonna love this game. So let's get into it. First off, what is Axie Infinity? Because I know a lot of you are gonna be looking at it like, okay, never heard of this before. What do I do? Essentially, it is a cross between like Pokemon and Tamagotchi. It's built on blockchain. You can breed, buy, sell, collect, raise, and even battle them now. Um, and you can also earn money doing it because it's built on blockchain. It's built using Ethereum. So if you're into cryptocurrency at all, or if you're wanting to get into it, this is like the perfect way to do it. Axie Infinity is like my go-to. I load it up every day, go check on stuff, uh, buy and sell stuff on the marketplace. Uh, and so much that I've actually created a new channel called Axie Tube. I'll leave the link in the description. There might be a card somewhere as well at the same time. It's going to have stuff like my tips, tricks, battle experiments, commentary on stuff, uh, unpoddings. That'll make sense a bit later. Uh, it's a bit like unboxings, but for Axie. Uh, so if this video interests you by the end of it, then go subscribe and check that out. But for now, I'll actually tell you what it's all about. Okay, first off. What are axes? I will show you right now on screen. So basically axes are the creatures in this game, like Pokemon are in Pokemon. Um, and they all belong to the same species, so all these three guys on screen are axes. They're all the same, in that they're the same species, but there's an infinite number of combinations and unique mutations to like parts and colours, patterns. There, there's loads of stuff to go through. So these are the six classes currently in the game. They're beast, plant, bug, bird, reptile, and aquatic. That shows two hidden ones here, but I believe there's three hidden ones at the moment that are currently not in the game, but they can be, I think they have to be bred. So there's like that mutation thing going on. Uh, and I think they'll come into the game soon enough. But so far there's those six and they don't just modify the look, but like the types of moves they can use in battle, their debuffs, buffs. A beast is quite good for like critting someone when they hit them, whereas like plant and aquatic are more tanky, so it affects like their stats. But just because you've got a beast axie doesn't mean it's gonna have all beast parts. It will have, most generally, will have parts from the different classes. So it mixes and matches. So the parts come down to mouth, eyes, ears, horn, back and tail. And that means you could have a part from each of the classes and it'll make it into like a mismatch with like different abilities and different play style depending on how you play them in battle. Um, so the stats you get are hit points. So when you run out of hit points, obviously your Axie doesn't die, but it like faints. Uh, or it can enter last stand mode, which I'll come up on later when its HP drops to zero. You've got speed, so higher speed will always attack first at the beginning of the turn, and they have more of a chance to like, dodge attacks in battle. You've got skill, which gives them their hit chance, so you can miss in this game. So having a higher skill means you're more likely to hit your skill, and a high skill will like, rarely miss. Which sucks, because I've had it before and I've gone to attack, and I know it's going to be like a beastly attack and do loads of damage, but then it misses. Or well, they dodge and it, oh, it's painful, man. Uh, okay, morale. It affects like their critical hit chance and their counter chance and the amount of last stand turns you get. Last stand essentially is if you get your HP taken to zero, they get like a few turns to deal some damage before they officially faint or whatever. You can change the tide of battle of having one Axie that goes into last stand mode, takes out like their tank or something, and then the rest of your Axies can take over. Uh, but yeah, the diversity of axes and parts, it not only adds to like the limitless possibilities of collecting and breeding, but the battle system is so unique because there's so many different types of moves and they haven't even unlocked like the crafting and evolving of those abilities properly yet. So that's all coming. So it's, it's a bit crazy. And you can also get like rare parts. So there's common parts, there's rare, there's ultra rare and legendary. Um, and that also makes... Some axes like mythical, so they've got rarer parts than the rest. And some of them, I believe at the minute, can even be like unique parts because not many people have bred them out and stuff. So they can be worth a lot of Ethereum. So if you get lucky with like unpodding one, then you're, you're in for a good amount of Ethereum on that. Okay, so how do the battles actually work? 
Um, well, you've got 3v3 battles currently. I'm not sure if they're going to change that. That's just going to be the format on how it is. But uh, you create teams of three of your axes. So you'd sort through them, find out uh, what you think is going to be best for like being a tank. Maybe one's ranged, uh, one's a support maybe for like healing and stuff. Uh, so typically you want like a high HP tank in front. Because the positioning means that the enemy axes will focus typically on, I think it's typically on the front axe. I don't know if there's any other variations of that. So you want a high HP tank in the front. Then you might want like support at the back and then ranged in the middle or the other way around. Um, so after you arrange them in the formation, you can also assign the skills that they use um, in order that you want them to use it. So like here, see it's got four attacks here. You can drag and arrange them wherever you want them to go. So if they've got a skill that, for instance, like heals them upon attack, you won't want that on your first hit because you're already going to have full HP on your turn. So you're going to want that maybe like second or third in the list. Because then if you get hit and then you go and strike, you'll heal some of your HP back. So that's a good way to do it. Uh, battles running turns. So you can assign your moves to where you want them to be. Um, and once it's used, it'll go to the back of the queue. So if you use like, for instance, on that list, if you use Puff Charge, that will scroll down to the bottom and then these will move up and it will use them in that fashion. The aim is obviously to take out the enemy's HP. If you take all of their axes to zero, you win. Typical like Pokemon fashion or any of those other sort of games. Um, there is a certain amount of luck involved. I mean, if you've got a really good axe and they've got good moves and they've got good HP and all that, you're likely set to like do better in battles, but there is an element of like luck um, because you've got stuff like you can miss, you can get countered, um, you can score critical hits and the last stand mode, all those sort of things, they can really change the game. One critical hit of like 50 will end pretty much any axe. So that's going to obviously turn the tide of any battle. If you dodge an attack and counter, all that sort of stuff. It like I've had matches where I'm down to my last axe. They've got two and just with a bit of luck, I've won the actual battle. So you can get lucky. It is rare, but when it happens, it's really cool. Also not forgetting to mention that uh, during the battles, there are class advantages and disadvantages. So reptile and plant are stronger against aquatic and bird. Uh, aquatic and bird are stronger versus beast and bug. And it goes in that sort of cycle. Same way in like Pokemon, you've got the electric type, water type, and they're better or worse against each other. Similar sort of thing means team composition and position is really key in this battle. Uh, I'm going to show you guys an actual battle. So let me use my ones. Don't look at the names, but it was for fun. But you can activate Beans Blessing for XP boost for your axes. You can send them to the arena. I'm going to go send anyway. And then they're put into a queue like instantly against other uh, teams. So you'll watch in a minute. It'll come up here. Or do I have to refresh the page? Let me refresh the page. Okay, so you can see, a few seconds ago, completed. So, oh, we're against Freak. Two teams by Freak. So then you can click on here. Okay, here we go. So my side is over here on the right. And I'm getting dominated at the minute. You can see the HP down here, the move order down the bottom. You can see the names of the enemies. These are named mines. I don't think he's named his yet. Oh, he's going to take out Mr. Chow. Don't take out Mr. Chow. So yeah, you've got the stats up top. It shows you how much the damage will be, the hit percentage, if their possibility of counter defense. Ooh, this is going to be a tough battle. Oh, see, stuff like that when you get a miss, that's like, that's game changing. Because, oh, Mr. Chow, the double dodge. Oh, look, he just healed himself. Boom. Suck balloon. Ha, took him down. Or oh, Mr. Oh, he's dead. Ah, oh, last stand mode. So when they go red, you can see he's got two bars at the bottom, which means he's got two turns to do an attack. So he should be going down this round. There you go. But he got that extra chance to do one more attack, which could change the tide of battle. If it's like a crit and he's on last stand, it means he can take out an Axie before he dies. Boom. Come on, silly fish. You can do this. Oh, suck balloon's still alive. You need to see him. Boom, slap all free HP. Come on, free HP. Tuck balloon. Boom, 23 damage. He did it. 
victory. Alright. So we won that one. So when you win, you get XP. When you lose, you get less XP. The XP is used for... It's going to be used in the future, I'm assuming, for like leveling up your skills and stuff as well. But at the minute, it's for like breeding mainly. You can do three battles with each Axie. So your teams, if you have teams of different Axies, you can do three uh, battles every 12 hours of them before you send them in again. I'm going to send in the rest of my guys after this video. But um, yeah, that's how battles work. And I'll show you how to edit your team as well. So this is how you can edit your team. Uh, you can go to reposition and then you can choose the position they go in. So a tank would probably want to go like here. And then somewhere in the middle you might want a ranged or a support. Or you might want two tanks on the corners and a ranged behind. Uh, and that affects like how the battle actually plays out. So that's important. So you can also change axes. So here's all my lineup. I could choose which ones I want in there. Uh, and you can also click and drag, or just click onto which ones you want, the move order to swap. So like I've got Poofling here at the start, because that's a slow, and that will have like a long-term effect, and it gives them the speed to take them down. And then I've got Swallow, which is damage done to the target is restored to user. So if I wanted Swallow at the first, um, the first attack, it'd be a bit pointless, because I'd be restoring health, and I've got full health most likely, so that's a bit silly. So I'll try to keep them like second or third. Uh, and like yeah the healing moves you want a bit later on but so all this diversity I mean if I just move one position back that could turn the entire battle around or if I just move one of these moves into a different position then that could change the whole game so if you think both players are doing this it's yeah you get crazy battles okay so what else can you do apart from battling I mean battling is really cool but what else can you actually do because some people, they'll love the battling. Some people are going to be more like they want to do collecting. Or they might just want to invest Ethereum. Because I'm sure the prices of Axies are going to go up skyrocketing in future. Because there are a limited number. And all the parts means that there can be ones that have really amazing stats and stuff. Which makes them really rare. And people are willing to like buy them to battle them or breed them. So uh, there's many ways you can go. Okay, so apart from just the battling, you also have stuff like the breeding. Um, you've got stuff like Marketplace. Terrariums are coming soon, which is places that your axes will live and you can like care for them. You can decorate it, make it really unique. Uh, you can also raise them by like feeding and petting and stuff like that. That's coming soon. Uh, and so the last one, you've got a story mode, which is coming. I'm not amazingly excited for that, but I think the powerful boss battles will be quite fun to do. It'll be, I guess, like raids, and you get some rare stuff. Uh, and a crafting system for, like, new items and parts. That's cool. But, yeah, if you don't want to just do battling, there is stuff like breeding, the marketplace. So I could take you to marketplace now and give you a quick show. So this is the Axie market. I've listed them from lowest price upwards. Uh, the current lowest price is, like, 0 0.09 Ethereum. So if I click on this one uh, and go buy now, I can go buy this Axie. And it should give you a rough dollar value. There you go. So the lowest priced one is currently like $20, which is not a lot if you're investing in crypto. So if I click off that, go marketplace. So you can see the wide variety of axes. It's like ridiculous. Let's see what the highest priced one is currently. A thousand Ethereum. Okay. That is, I think that's reaching a bit. I think we had like a sale of like 25 Ethereum for one the other day. But, um... 168 i mean like these are a lot of money but obviously there's stuff that's rare about them the ones that have like origin and meo corp just like that they were like the original axes so they're gonna be very rare like this one's number five that's the fifth ever axie in the game that's that's probably worth its price in the future uh, and you got so you've got the axie market you can filter it by specific types so if you want a specific class uh, if you want it breedable, if you want it to be like Mystic or anything like that. Uh, you can list them on here, you can buy and sell. So you could buy one that's like a real bargain and then just relist it again for like a good price. Their Discord is also quite good for doing that sort of stuff, you want to buy and sell. Uh, and you've also got the mating club. So here you can put in your own axes and charge a fee for people to breed with them. So they've got to have 400 XP because it costs 300 XP currently to breed two axes so both of your axes the one that you mate with and your one will have to have 400 xp 
or 300, I'm assuming. But at the minute, we either have 100 or 400 because that's just how it's been. Um, so you could click on one. I believe this is my one. Yeah, this is my one. Okay, so you can see the stats of the one you might want to breed with, uh, their moves, uh, and their parents. And uh, yeah, you can breed with them. So then you've got a chance of breeding something that's got a combination of these stats and moves along with your one or random mutations. So like, yeah, the limits are crazy. Literally like billions because you've got, if you want to breed like two mystics, you can end up with like a super mystic that's got like insane stats and insane uh, like moves that just go really well together. Also along with Marketplace, you have the Axie Lab, a place where you can buy an Axie pod, which if you click adopt, essentially, Rather than having to go through the egg and the petite and going up, or the egg larva petite adult, which is the way you normally breed and grow axes, this just lets you outright buy one that's been like genetically created by the MEO Corp, which is like the game devs corporation type thing. Uh, and yeah, if you're like someone who's an influencer, that you can earn MEO tokens, which let you buy these. You can do that in the Discord, or you can just buy it with Ethereum. Uh, this is what I'm going to do for the AxiTube channel, if you go follow that now. I'll be buying pods and uh, unpodding them. See if we get anything super rare, see how much they're roughly worth. See what we can get. But yeah, so you click adopt and then you get a shiny new Axi. That's from MEO Corp. And these are tagged depending on what season we're in. So like we had season 1, we're now in season 2. Which is like when the updates come in and different things come in. Uh, so the lower the season, I'm assuming the rarer they'll get as they go on. Like, I've got a couple of MEO Corp 1 first season, and uh, I'm going to hold on to them, because I think they'll be rare as time goes on. I mean, currently we're only at, like, almost 7,000 axes sold. So imagine when this picks up and there's, like, 100,000 axes or a million axes. Those originals going to be worth a lot more money than all the new ones that are coming in. So, uh, yeah, Axie, the pods, these are going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy these on the channel. Give these a go, see if we get anything really good. Like, imagine you open a pod and you get one that's worth, like, one Ethereum. Then you can go back, buy a few more pods, keep trying. It's quite good. It's a bit like loot boxes, but with actual money that you can recoup from that. I know people that have spent so much money on Overwatch and all that just to get loot boxes and they get like virtual items that are worth nothing. In this game, you can actually make some like good money if you get good parts. It's definitely a good investment. And it's a lot of fun as well. I mean, it's like Pokemon, but with real money and you can invest. I don't know why people wouldn't want to do that. I used to love Pokemon. Uh, okay, talking about the breeding and Axie Lab, uh, I'll go to my Axies and show you. So typically, if you mate two of your own axes, or if you use the mating club, you'll end up with an egg. Um, and that egg grows into a larva, and then it grows into a petite. Once it gets to the petite stage, you can see what uh, like moves it has, what roughly it will look like. But you need it to be an adult in order to battle with it. Um, it takes about five days to go from egg to larva to petite to adult. But yeah, that's quite a cool process, because I had a few eggs, and... The anticipation of waiting those couple of days to see them actually turn into something is quite cool. But, um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, you can also see axes as an investment. I mean, the earlier you're getting on the project, obviously, the better, because the cheaper the entry floors for axes are currently. You can grab some Origin and MEO Corp 1 axes at the minute and use them as a commodity for the future. So you can, like, buy an axe of decent stats or an Origin tag. Could be worth, like, 10, 100 times what you pay for it in the future. It's like getting on the ground floor of Pokemon in the original series before it exploded and it all went crazy, like, money-wise. Okay, so obviously you can tell Axie Infinity is, like, really deep and really fun. It was my first crypto game. I only knew about it because I went onto LT Zonda's stream and they were all playing it and talking about it. And it just looked, just looked like a grown-up version of Pokemon with, like, real money, which is quite a cool investment, really. Uh, and after I watched that stream within, like... 30 minutes I'd bought my first Axie and I was like learning all the stuff. So now I can tell you how to get into it. They've got a really good guide on the site. I'll leave the site in the description. Uh, having a little bit of knowledge of crypto and blockchain is like welcome but it's not essential. I mean I knew a little bit about it because I had like a Coinbase account already but I'd never done Ethereum or gaming with crypto so that was totally new to me and within like half an hour I'd done it so pretty sure anyone could do it. Uh, so a little bit about it. First off, you're going to need a MetaMask account. 
Uh, MetaMask is like a plugin for your browser. You just sign up to it, make a note of your secret phrases they give you, so keep them safe. It's a bit like having a wallet elsewhere. You want to keep like that safe so you don't lose it. Uh, and then deposit some Ethereum, and that can be purchased straight through MetaMask using like Coinbase or other services. It takes like literally minutes to do it, and then you're set to buy like your first Axie. And it's really simple. It's really easy. Just follow the guide. I mean, they've got the video right here on the page. Give you what you need to do. Send Ethereum to your wallet, and then you're ready to build your team. That is pretty much it. And with the current cheapest Axie on the market being only like twenty dollars, the entry level is really low. And for that sort of price point, I mean, why not get on the ground floor and have some fun? You can get that money back with a lot more because it's an investment long term. Uh, have some fun with battles and trading and mating. Uh, and just see what the devs are doing. They're always updating daily. I'm always in their Discord because they're, they're very active on there. I'll leave their Discord uh, in the description as well. Grow your own Axie collection. Uh, maybe fight me on the battlefield. Uh, if you have any type of draw to this type of game, like Pokemon or collectibles in general... Or you want to invest in crypto, this is like the easiest way to do it. I really suggest you give it a try. Uh, be sure to show me your axes in like the comments or join their Discord and put them there. Uh, even on Instagram, just tag hashtag AxieTube, which is the new channel. Uh, and I'm going to be really active there. So go sign up to AxieTube, sign up to Axie Infinity and actually play it. Uh, and I'll be doing some giveaways and stuff on AxieTube channel too. So that'd be an easy way to get into it. I mean, you get free axes and stuff. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Axie Infinity is really cool. Sign up to AxieTube. Join their Discord. Have a chat with the devs and everyone. Just enjoy the community. Everyone's really nice and really helpful. Um, and yeah, that's it. Go give it a go. I'm sure you're going to love it. I do. And bye for now.